Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be making some delicious refreshment juice using the small caliber cold press masticating juicer. We're going to start by opening up the box, which I already did because I am just nosy. So as you can see, this is what the box looks like. This is the AMZ Chef Slow Juicer. And I believe this is a black one that they sent me. So a big thank you to them for sending me this product to review. You guys know when I do product reviews, I always um, put it to test by um, doing some type of recipe. So in the box came the instruction manual and I'll pull some of the stuff that came in the box. This must be the top for the juicer. So we go through what's in the box, okay? And then we can put everything together, this here. And I am going to pull out, I hope y'all can see, I am going to pull the top out. Okay, so right away I can already tell this is different from the other juices that I have. This came with a small brush. These brushes are really nice to clean the parts once you're done um, juicing because sometimes it can be really hard to take out the little pieces are in the corner. You can see you can use the smaller head of the brush and they have like a sharp edge. Sometimes carrot pieces can be stuck on the side, you don't have to take like a toothpick, for example, to take it out. So this is really, really good already. And let's take out some of the other parts. I see these are cups. I'll show you guys how to put these together. I'm just taking them out. These are some cups to collect our pulp in the juice. I like that they have measuring on them, so I pull these out. And I like that the um, cups are a little big too, okay? This must be the pop collector cup. So let me gather myself, get everything out, and then I'll come back and show you guys how to put them all together. All right, guys, let's talk about the motor. As you can see, this is not big at all. It is small enough to fit on any countertop without taking a lot of space. And they have a on button and a reverse button, which is really good when your stuff gets stuck. You can use the reverse button to reverse it. So I already went ahead and kind of cleaned my stuff just because you know you don't want to use this stuff without cleaning them so what i am going to do is take this part here honestly it's so 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 easy to put together um to be quite honest with you some of these products can be difficult once you put this in it's going to click and they have this button here that's going to be easy to release it if you want to take it out you just press and it release so once you put this up just go ahead and turn you're gonna hear that click, okay? So now we are going to put in this bad boy in there, this piece here. Again, you can use the manual book. It will tell you everything. And we are going to put this in there. Sometimes for me, you just have to see which direction that stuff go. Honestly, it's really easy and then put this in to lock it up. Again, this one, you twist, it will lock it up. And here is this. What was this called, Jamal? The plunger. Jamal said this is the plunger. So we're gonna go ahead and trust Jamal. Okay, so put this on the top and use this to press down. I hope y'all can see. To push down if your um, fruits or vegetables get stuck. And this little piece came with it also. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some fruits and vegetables so we can put this bad boy to test, all right? All right, guys, first thing we are going to juice is some apples. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the machine on. And the cups are 24 ounce cups, which is pretty good for a juicer. 
all down here. And as you can hear, it is not too loud, so go ahead on top. This is the size of the apples that I'm going to put in there. Just drop your apples on top here and give it a push with the plunger, as Jamal said. And I am going to drop more. The most important thing is sometimes in these juicers, the pops get stuck on the side. And this one, as you can see, is going right through. And the uh, pop is pretty dry and it's giving me a lot of juice, which is really good. Jamal just wants um, apple juice. You don't really have to press it, but I just want to make sure it go through. I'm honestly not doing anything hard here. No pressure. I'm not using much muscles at all. I'm going to cut this down just a little bit because it's just too chunky and press down. You guys can see everything is moving nicely. You can see that piece of apple, I think it was just too big. So I'm going to use the plunger just like that. Nothing too difficult, nothing too crazy, which I'm kind of glad a little piece got stuck in there so you guys can see how easy it was to get it out, okay? So this is the last piece of my apple here. You guys can see I'm getting so much juice. Very nice, very clear. Again. The pulp is pretty dry, okay? So now I'm going to move on to my other vegetables. Now we're gonna go ahead with some salaries just to see how that works. But you guys know celery have so much water. Probably one of the easiest things to juice. If you ask me, I give Jamal some of the apple juice, but I like to mix a little apple juice with my green juice as well. Again, the pulp comes out nice. Nothing is stuck over here. Everything is going through very nice, very smooth. That's exactly what we want when we spend money on a product. Okay. And the carrots are next. So this is how I cut up the carrots. And carrots are another common thing to get juice. So we are juicing common fruits and vegetables. I don't know if I cut my carrot chunk a little too big. It's juicing, oh there you go. Mmm, nothing better than some carrot juice, I tell ya. <laughs> carrot and ginger are like a match made in heaven. If this is your first time in the channel, welcome to the channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell so you can get notified every time we upload. Thank you so much, guys. And of course, don't forget to check out um, AMZ Chef's product. I will leave the link to their website and their social media down in the description box for you guys to check out, all right? You guys know I always give you every details of whatever I do down in the description box. So make sure you check that part out. And if you haven't followed us on our social media platforms, go ahead and do so. So now I am going to move on to the next. I am going to add some cucumbers in the mix. Again, this is how I cut up my cucumbers. But you guys get the picture, this product is fantastic. And it's dishwasher safe. So you can put these parts, of course, not the motor. Not the motor, y'all. <laughs> you can put them in your dishwasher and it should be nice and clean. So no stress needed for you to be healthy. This is a nice, great morning juice. 
And if you have some beets, if you are a beets lover, you can throw some beets in there as well. Okay, so this is really pretty much it, guys. Again, check them out. Check the description box just in case there's a little coupon code we'll see. Check out the description box. Check their page. Okay, shop the product. Holidays around the corner. Give somebody with this beautiful juicer. They would really appreciate it. Y'all know New Year's is coming. We always have New Year's resolution. So make sure you give somebody with, somebody with something really healthy that they will appreciate. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you for watching. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite juice is and if you are a juicer or not, okay? I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. Continue to stay safe. Bye-bye.